day. Welcome back to Foxwood House and our journey through this old house on the property called Barra Barra. Now, it was the home of the Oates family. It was the family home of the Oates family for more than 60 years. And we bought and made it part of Foxwood House in 1989, which is already 30 odd years ago. Behind me, you are going to see um, a wonderful portrait quite soon, in close-up, of a woman by the name of Marilyn. And Marilyn was the favourite daughter of the family. I always think it's terribly unfair that one has two daughters, because the two daughters in the family were Mary and Marilyn, and that Marilyn was given this pride of place in the old stairwell. Where we are now is not a staircase in the kind of sweeping traditional um, country estate style. It is a, literally a stairwell um, in the centre of the house. Um, behind me are some very interesting photos, photos featuring very prominent people, among them um, politicians from a bygone era. But Pride of Place is Marilyn behind me. Here, on my left hand side, is Marilyn. Now, taken from the vantage point of the gallery upstairs. Marilyn was an actress and she visited the United States with her parents and she was rumoured to have had um, quite a close relationship with Fred Astaire. Marilyn's story is typical of the time. One had your trips to Europe, one frequently visited the United States and eventually settled back in Johannesburg and she was very happily married to um, a surgeon, Robert Islop, and had a very happy life. I met her before she died um, when we bought the property in 1989 um, Marilyn was by then already in her 70s. Her mother had died in this house, in fact in a room quite close to the gallery, leading off the gallery, um, at the age of 99. Marilyn was, I think one could call her possibly pampered, without being um, derogatory about it. But Marilyn was very much a a daughter of the house. She, her entire life, even as an adult um, with children, um, was spent here in this old house. She brought the family washing here. Everything happened here for the family. She was quite dependent on her mother and her mother's passing left a huge, but a huge gap in her life. Um, she was, she invited me and my partner to a wonderful dinner on purchasing the house. Um, a charming old style grace that she um, showed in her, in all her contacts and in, in her entire social life. What you see here is really, truly representative of her as a person. If you'd ever visit Barra Barra, which is the old manor house now on the property, you'd definitely have to come and see and talk to Marilyn. I'm sure she'll respond. 